Princess Diana reportedly voted for the abolition of the monarchy when taking part in a TV poll in front of Prince William, a royal biography claims. The Princess of Wales' life behind palace walls was said to be incredibly difficult. Although she came from an aristocratic family and had relatives who worked closely with the royal family themselves, she was not accustomed to being in the limelight as a shy 19-year-old. However, she became an international icon almost overnight after her fairy tale wedding won over legions of royal fans. Many praised her for single handedly modernizing the monarchy shortly before she split from Prince Charles, but she was then blamed for jeopardizing the institution's survival after speaking out about her time on the royal front line. She went on to claim she had been treated very badly by her in laws, especially when she had postnatal depression. During her bombshell 1995 BBC Panorama interview, she said, Anything good I ever did, nobody ever said a thing, but noted that when she tripped up, a ton of bricks came down on me. The Princess of Wales did claim that she did not want to destroy the monarchy as that is my children's future, but she claimed reform was needed to change the remote relationship between the royal family and the public. According to Howard Hodgson's book, Charles, The Man Who Will Be King, the Princess of Wales actually went one step further in her condemnation of the monarchy. Mr. Hodgson said Andrew Morton, author of Diana, her true story, once claimed the princess continually phoned into a television poll on the monarchy, voting each time for its abolition. The biographer continued, as the princess' resentment to her husband grew to become a complete obsession, she seemed determined that if she could not possess him then she would destroy him and didn't appear to stop for a moment to consider the effect this might have on her children. Diana also used her position to undermine Charles as the heir to the throne, according to some journalists. Her interviewer, former Telegraph editor Sir Max Hastings, claimed, she said that all she cared about was William's succession to the throne and she said to me, quite explicitly, I don't think Charles can do it. The outcome she wanted to see was for Charles to stand aside as heir dot and for William to occupy the throne. Yet, Sir Max never published the interview because he wanted to keep a lid on the worst of this.